This is the last competency of the week, week two simulation test, which is the practicing COVID-19 preventive measures in the workplace. This is my infographic, and we all know that COVID-19 is a pandemic that we are facing today, and it is very more challenging to each one of us because the pandemic was really really a big problem nowadays it shows in my infographic the coronavirus covid-19 and it was from the health direct how to avoid infections or spreading the virus and i know it is i know this is very known and this is very important also basically wash your hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 minutes and it was discussed also in the previous lessons about the practicing COVID-19 preventive measures in the workplace and the second one is the avoid touching your eyes nose or mouth the third one is cover your mouth or nose when coughing or sneezing this is really important so that we are not affected to the coronavirus or the SARS COVID-19. The fourth one is use only disposable tissues and dispose of them immediately after use. It is very known, it is, you know, it is very sabotable and avoid close contact with anyone choosing respiratory symptoms. And the second to the last is monitor travel advice or smart traveler or traveler.gov and basically the very very important about the coronavirus COVID-19 that we should save just stay at home when you are sick and also protect ourselves and loved ones from coronavirus And as what I've understood about this practicing COVID-19 preventive measures in the workplace is COVID-19, it is a very, uh, you know, it is a respiratory disease that can cause a new coronavirus that can circulate worldwide, I mean worldwide rather, could that we call um, SARS-CoV-2 uh, and find out how to protect ourselves and our family from this from this COVID-19 or from this pandemic as with all the respiratory viruses practicing good hygiene is at the core protecting ourselves from being infected with coronavirus avoid touching your face as what I've said try not to touch your face especially your eyes nose and mouth especially when unwashed hands this help you to avoid infecting ourselves or yourself if you do pick up the virus from contaminated surfaces. Wash your hands thoroughly and often. Regular hand washing with soap and water is one of the most important things you could do to avoid infected with coronavirus. And I must give some tips which is use soap and water wash for at least 20 minutes enough time to sing rounds of um it is 20 minutes is very easy and the world health organization has a useful guide to good hand washing procedure and i know we all know that one and especially wash your hand after you cough and sneeze after using the bathroom before before or during and after you prepare food before eating, after handling animals or animal waste, before putting on a mask, after removing a mask. And also, hand sanitizer, an alcohol-based alcohol, alcohol -based sanitizer with at least 60% or 70% alcohol is a good substitute for high hand hygiene if you can't access soap and water. Sanitizer with less than 70% alcohol may not kill the virus again. It again and it was the hand washing you need to cover your hand 
and rub it all over it at least 20 minutes. And clean and disinfect surfaces. Regularly clean and disinfect frequently touch the surface and cover cough and sneezing as what I've said. Increase ventilation and fresh air. Open windows or adjust air conditioning to ventilate your rooms. Mm, in addition, very 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 important is social distancing. Stay at home and only go out if it is essential. And see your state or territory health department for public health orders. Stay at least 1.5 meters away from other people. Everyone must practice this physical distancing when outside the home to stop the coronavirus spreading. Avoid physical greetings such as handshake, kisses, or hugs, and or we call it a biso biso. And you stop and you you stop and go instead of cash. Travel in quiet times and avoid crowd. Also, it shows the infographic, the hand sanitizer safety on children, as what I've said, and protect others from getting sick, and COVID safe, and we should be safe also. Understand the symptoms, as you can see, showed here. In my infographic, is that the establish and to obtain the second one, third is confirmed, fourth test, fifth is final prep or sixth execute, seven is the prep or eighth is repeat. All of this is the practicing covid preventive measures in the workplace is to be asked as a safety here living in this very very our home. For the plan is clinic deployment team members identified and uh, that was discussed in the lesson 3 and staging and product production area and workflow of clinic are defined and the test the next is the second obtain shows they are the facility team obtains consent forms and gather roster data consent forms and census information sent and the third one is the confirm and also showed there in lesson four staff from both of the facilities and help direct everything was i was what i've said is get from i get from the modules and also as what i understand in the videos that i've watched this is the second slide of my infographic how to properly dispose face mask and face shield first is remove mask and face shield from face be gentle so as do not disturb liquid and solid contaminants in the mask and shield to be followed by cut the used face mask and directly dispose used face mask and face shield in a separate waste bin or bag if available dispose them in a yellow bag or bin Mark as hazardous waste or infectious waste. Uh, again, the mask that have you used is you should put it in a hazardous waste or in an infectious waste. And the last is wash hand immediately after disposing the used face mask and face shield to be as safe. The last of my infographic is how to properly dispose use mark. Stay at home flatten the cure it was from environmental management bureau bnr it was the mean that a, a flatter curve is created by a more gradual increase in the number of cases per day and a more gradual disease over a long period of time the number of people impacted might be around same but the difference is the number of cases that you occur we should face this together and just stay at home. Just be safe always. Eat always um, healthy food and do some exercises. I'm very much understandable because in taking this course, I realized the importance of the safety protocols. Not only that, but I already understand more things about COVID-19. In the title of my infographic, is a 
is, of course, he was practicing covenant preventive measures in the workplace. As an individual, we need to apply that has a course mean or apply what is good for us. Applying all the preventive measures was a good idea in order to have a healthy lifestyle. This course has a lot of units and lessons and those are unit 1, 2, 3 and many more of the lessons and also the unit 1 that has learning outcomes to us as a student it should articulate the basic science of COVID-19 and its effect, sign and symptoms and much most speci uh, specifically rather, sorry the modes of transmission perform self protection that has practices more techniques must follow workplace safety protocols and maintain our each one mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic. In each unit, shows a lot of lessons that we learn. A lot of lessons, but I am so much understandable in lesson to that co coping up with stress, in which people may or who are undergoing with emotional stress should acknowledge the fact that they are willing it's not uncommon and but a natural reaction to the abnormal environment that they are in. I have a lot of learning on this course and I'm applying this in what I have to do. Keep safe and God bless us everyone.